Guys, look at this cutie. Look at the stripes. What's up, everyone? My name's Amanda. My twin sister Emily's over there. Say hi. Put in the spread out. We're out here looking for mahi and came across this awesome group of birds. I don't know if you can see it. There they are. What? We got, we got them on? I got carried away and went too fast. Um, we're looking out, we're looking for mahi out here, but these might be tuna birds, not quite sure yet. We will let you know and check back in. Alright guys, definitely a tuna. You can see he's nice and deep. Look at the rod. Look at the line. See how he's diving down deep? Oh yeah, I see him I down there. I haven't seen him jump. Oh boy. Oh, he's running. He's running. Guys, the reason why my hand is on this spool is because the clicker broke. And if I take my finger off... Oh wait, did I fix it? It ah! stopped! Temporary fix! <laughs> the clicker is uh, going crazy lately. And I believe we have a tuna. We're targeting mahis today, but the tuna has decided to bite. This looks is. like a giant bonita. It's a big bonita! It's oh, a skipjack! Skippy. Skippy. We got a skipjack! Skipjack tuna. All right, Guys, cool. skipjack tuna is a delicacy in Hawaii. People love it. You can tell it's a skipjack because of their stripes. Skipjack tunas have stripes, bonitas have dots, and blackfin tuna have a gold bar. This is our mahi lure. He decided he wanted to be a mahi for the day. And we got our skipjack tuna. Let's hold him up. Hold him up. All right. Look at that. Skipjack, famous for their stripes. Now that we know that these are tunas on these birds, at least we know they're skipjacks. Oh, no. What are issues back here? Emily can't figure out how to wear the chest deep. I'm trying to get some cool shots for you guys. Um, now, now that we know that they're tunas, we're switching out our lures for our like our favorite tuna lures. And um, this is one of them. We, oh, it's already on it. And that lure, we actually did a catch and clean blackfin tuna video. We used that one, I think it was blue though. And we are going to do this another round. This is, we're, this is the other one we're gonna put out. See how this, we've actually, this is brand new. We've never used it before. It's one of the island lures. We love the brand, but I've never specifically used this one. So I'll let you know how this goes. You guys will see. And the birds are right here if you want to see them. Typically when I troll for mahis, I'm going to troll around seven knots. And now that I know that these are skipjack tunas though, I'm not going to be afraid to go nine knots. Skipjacks like to travel fast. They're tough to keep up with, and they like a fast-moving bait. So I'm going to go 9 knots. I'm going 8.7 knots right now. And I'm not concerned about going too fast with a fish because it looks like we're going to get a bite in like two seconds. All right. Double. Double. Double knots. These are... Let me slow the down. Just my hair. All right. We're doubled up. I only have one motor in gear, Emily, just so you know. Okay, thanks. They're totally tunas. Tuna! That's a bigger one! Nice, big, oh, that is a bigger one. Got some skipjack tunas. My tuna's over here. Getting feisty. Guys, look at how pretty these stripes are. Look at the color, guys. They're, they, they're, they have stripes and they're very purple. -y. And these fish are definitely a quicker species of tuna when it comes to trying to catch them. Blackfin tunas have bigger fins, which is interesting. How to short me. these fins are. How short these are. Black and, black and, a black and tuna spins will go like halfway down his body. Right there. And for some reason in Hawaii, these fish are a delicacy. Down here in South Florida, people don't really target these. It's not much of, there's not much hype down here, but we love Hawaii. And in honor of Hawaii, we are going to cook this fish. What do you think, Amanda? I think that's a great idea. We okay. should make some, we should do like a Hawaiian inspired skipjack, skipjack tuna. Yeah. That yeah. sounds delicious. Okay guys, so when you're gonna keep a tuna, 
you need to bleed them, and that really cleans the meat out and makes the meat taste nice and fresh. So we're going to teach you how to bleed so them. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to break the throat. You can use a knife, you can use your fingers. I'm going to stick my thumb through there, and I'm going to break it. Okay. Throat is broken, tuna's bleeding, gonna have some nice meat. Guys, look at this tuna. Look at the stripes. Okay. Alright, now show them how to do it with a knife. You can just okay. cut them too. Right. There, there we go. go. Tuna's bleeding. Awesome. So one of our tunas we caught on this tuna feather. This is one of our go-to feathers. We have them in purple and black blue and black, red, orange, we use them all the time. Usually I'll fish two of those, one in each Do color. Do we have packaged? I have the pack, it's actually brand new. I can show you the label. There we go, this one. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging it comes in, it's called a feather jig. And the second one we use, which I've never used before for tuna, but I like the brand and I've used the brand before for mahi, so we're like, well, let's use this one. And I actually have a pack doing that one too. Well, this is the black one. This is the same thing, but in black. It's an island lure. It's called an island lure tracker. They come in lots of colors. We decided to use the pink one today. Now that we've caught some skipjacks, I think it's time we head back to the dock. We're gonna fillet them, cook them up, and get to do some Hawaiian inspired dish. Our buddy is here. Our dock pet. He's our dock pet? And we don't have a name for him yet. What do you think we should name him? Um, it's a nurse shark. So maybe we should name it Corona. Name him Corona! <laughs> That's a funny one. Let's see if he eats this. Watch him go for it. There he goes. Oh, he oh, ate that it! Was so cool. So cool. Fun fact, nurse sharks don't have teeth like regular sharks. They're more like giant suction cups. But they can still send you to the hospital if you get bit. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get too Nurse sharks, you know what guys? Nurse sharks are actually really, really common fish for shark attacks because they are so docile that people take advantage of that and try and pet them and get in their way so a lot of times the attacks that happen from nurse sharks are out of self-defense it's not out of aggression it's time to play our skipjack tuna take a look look at those beautiful stripes stripey stripey i think i'm going to do this two different ways the first way is going to be a one swipe just take a look i'm going to go straight from the tail find that backbone turn my knife and make strokes to my best ability. Up the fish. Up the this is super ideal way to do this for smaller tunas like, like these. This is a pretty common size that we catch down here. They do get bigger, but we catch them pretty often around this right size. Here. This is like the, the toughest, toughest part. part of skin. There is one fillet. This fish also has row. One swipe. We got one fillet off in one swipe. That's the one swipe method. Very ideal for smaller fish. Do the Let's other do method, the other side. Which, I'll make my cut just like that on an angle on the back side of this fin. Then I'm going to outline the meat. Right here, that's where the toughest part of the skin is. I gotta get through it. I'm outlining my fish right here, Makes it, which will make it easier. Once again, just gotta get through this tough area. Right, that right behind the head, there we go. that skin is pretty tough, very tough. So it's good to outline the skin before you go for after the meat, especially on bigger fish. I like it, think it's easier. Alrighty, now I'm gonna make cuts. Down the backbone cuts. Just like this. To the spine. And there's the spine. I'm already at it. Here we are. 
So on this side, can you see the spine? Yeah, I see the spine. All right, I'm gonna poke my knife. This is how I like to do it. Angle it down. Watch where the knife comes out. Pretty much halfway down the fillet. Perfect. Perfect. Now, tunas are soft in this area. So it's really easy to get the fillet off once you do that. That's Good actually job. very easy. Good job. Let's check out what's in the stomach. Yeah, let's look at this stomach. There's baby fish. There's baby fish. There's a lot. A lot. These things were going to town. Right there, this fish has roe. So in order to remove this, I'm just going to make an angled cut. Get rid of that. Say goodbye. And here is where the bloodline is. It's a little tougher to see it on tunas than mahi or other species because it's already a red fish. I'm just gonna make a cut on either side of the bloodline to cut that out because there are bones right here. A little fun fact about skipjack tuna is they're actually one of the darker species. Yes, tuna. definitely the darker species. Also, Emily, didn't you um, find out that some people like it more than yellowfin tuna or something? It's comparable to yellowfin tuna. I, I don't know why. I, I they say <laughs> that when skipjack tuna gets fried and cooked, it's a comparable flavor to yellowfin because it's very, I guess, robust and a strong intensity to it, unlike some other tunas which are more mild. I guess this one's very bold. And I wouldn't really know because I don't eat raw fish. It sounds raw like tuna. wine. It sounds like wine. <laughs> yeah. Now to remove the skin, I'm just going to cut halfway down my steak, my tuna steak, turn my knife, and find that skin, remove the filet. I like doing it this way because now I have something to grab makes doing the second side much easier. Perfect. Just like that. Do the same thing here. Make a cut. Go down the skin. Now I have something to grab. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Time to put that in a Ziploc baggie and in the fridge. And then and we'll, we'll see you see in you. the kitchen. Yes. Guys, now there's three of them. Three nurse sharks. We have a whole family. You can only see two right now. Oh, there's a third one. He just ate. So look at the grouper. Do you see the grouper? Oh my god. We got a grouper living at our dock. That's a small goliath. That is a baby goliath grouper. I am gonna try and hand feed this nurse shark. Look at it. Oh, crazy. Oh my goodness. I gotta get closer. Oh, oh, white cow! A grouper just came in and ate it out of my hand, and I didn't get it up too. So I wasn't looking. Guys, a grouper just came and ate it out of my hand, but I didn't get it up too. Oh, there's the grouper. It's underneath the nurse shark. What a day, guys! We went out, we caught skipjack tunas, we filleted them, and now it's time to cook them. We dinner time! It's dinner time! It really is dinner time. It's it's 7 p.m. So I'm pretty hungry. So we have had skipjack tuna before in Hawaii. I had it raw as sashimi and I did not like it at all. Yeah, I'll add to that too. We're not really raw fish eaters no. and we really wanted to do like a Hawaiian inspired dish but the only thing we could think of was pokey. So instead, Ooh. we're doing grilled teriyaki. Grilled teriyaki? Skipjack, Sk skipjack tuna. Wow, that steaks. is enough. Grilled teriyaki skipjack steaks. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what we're gonna be doing. And we're pretty excited because we do like tuna, but we just like it cooked. But the cool thing about this is you can sear it and just make it medium rare. Exactly. So if you do like it raw, you totally use this and go for it. It doesn't have to be straight up like a cooked dish. For our marinade, we have teriyaki sauce, olive oil, minced ginger, and black pepper with our skipjack tuna fillets. Don't worry about writing everything down that we do for this marinade and this recipe. We will have all that in the description box for you, so make sure you save this video so you can go back and read that for when you're ready to cook some tuna steaks for yourself. We are going to use our food saver marinade Herb? dish. I don't know what that is. Our marinade are. dish. Marinade dish. We obviously, we had way more tuna than this. We just took enough for dinner and put the rest in a vacuum sealed bag. It's already out in the freezer. Yep. That looks delicious, guys. 
We are going to marinate it for a total of 30 minutes. In and the then fridge. we will see you at the grill. Hey buddy, you want some tuna? <laughs> Let's put these delicious tuna steaks on the grill. I'm so excited. All right, it's dripping with a little oil, so. There, there we go. go. That's perfect. These are little like bite bite sizes. They're not too big. It'll be perfect. These will cook really fast. It'll cook fast. Look Lipping at those. the tuna steaks. Look at those grill marks. Look at those grill marks. Looks delicious. Grilled teriyaki skipjack tuna steaks. Yummy. I'm so excited about this. Let us go. Cut it open. Taste them. Show you guys what it looks like. We've got our tuna pretty much cooked all the way through. Because that's how we like to eat fish. Guys, it looks so good. Show them how flaky it is. Just flake it a little. Look at that. Just like that. It there just you go. It falls apart. See, it's a little, it's a cooked medium, that one. Let's taste this. Whoops. It's, it's so flaky, it's falling off the fork. I'm really excited to taste it. It smells really good. It smells like teriyaki. I've never had a grilled skipjack steak before. This is kind of a new one for me. Like I said, we've had skipjack as sashimi, which I did not enjoy. So this will be interesting. Go for Let's it. Let's give it a taste. Wow. That is delicious. Like, that is so good. Amanda, you have to try it. Okay. Yeah, so like Emily said, we've had sh skip back sashimi, but didn't like it because we don't really eat raw fish. And what I like about this recipe is you can do mahi, you can do tuna, you can do wahoo. Isn't it delicious? Oh my gosh. It doesn't even taste like fish. That is like so it's good. It's just this delicious. The teriyaki, with, with, that's the best. I think that's probably the best marinade we have. I agree. I'm not kidding. Guys, if you give it a try, let us know. It doesn't have to be tuna, but if you use this marinade, which I'm a huge fan of, let us know. Leave it in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you push that like button. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And thank you for following.